Okay, as we're working with 3D views, you notice when it's main camera, we have way more options. We have the same camera view kind of, and this has allowed us to click and render from that preview, or we can select what kind of view we want to do it. So we can right click, open um, our render. So right here, open preview, open GL or other ones. Okay. It's a similar sum of the preset what we have it in our render options right here, OpenGL final. So this is applied just on lost view if you want to preview it. So this is all the same, except now on a main camera, we have additional properties. So what is meaning? Let's go look first on our display options. You notice we have more options available for us. We have it uh, show object from active layer, but beside that we have a frame guide and we have a zoom. Um, I use it quite a bit often frame guides when I create my composite. Composite. So let's go enable. And you can notice right here we have a film strip, like on the side, but we also have a display save frame and grids. So many times I enable this, as well as display field grid 4x3. So next time when I start composition, I can use those guidelines to take my camera and kind of position maybe a little bit better so I have a rule for example one third of the rule apply or maybe some other effect or with the lines that help me um, composition my shot a little bit better so again this is some preview uh, some of this like a frame okay let's go check back uh, frame guides like display title save and other ones in some cases they're not relevant with LCD displays some of them related more to the overscanning with all type CRT TVs. But just let know it's here and you can also preset if you like it for your um, own project. Let's go ahead and disable this. Okay. Next you'll notice also we have a zoom extend selected. So you can zoom in on the selected and adjust it. There are also other problem uh, we have it is a light from scenery and the shadows. The shadows is kind of important in some cases when you need to position properly the object. So let me go ahead and take a camera, place it down, and you can notice right here when I start moving my object up and down, my shadows as well is kind of adjusting to my layer. This is um, useful when I try to place properly and give me perspective in adjustment. Okay, if you, for example, turn it off, you can see they just disappear. It's kind of hard to tell if they're located on the ground or what how deep it is. And of course, many times if you want just put it on the ground, you can click and it will place it. But um, if you need to go a little bit below or other ones, then you kind of shadows give you good perspective on positioning. Okay, so you have options right here as well. The next you also have a familiar show last render in the back, show only selected objects, if your object is selected. And we also have additional properties that is um, display 3D view, display color channel, alpha channel, depth, show non-photorealistic render, which is a new for VU 2015, and we'll look closer on this. And display multi-pass G buffer if you any select, as well as diagnostic. So those is a little bit more advanced properties. We'll look on them as we're going in the, with the render. Just overall, you will probably use it quite a bit often color channel, which is your normal. You'll use it alpha channel if you need it. Um, for example, get it some alpha masking. And you know what, let me display just slightly better for this case. So we'll take our camera, we're adjusting, let's take our cube right here. So we'll go render them. Okay. And you'll notice right here, we're going to display alpha. There we cut off ground. This is our object. So in some cases, if you work with compositing or other ones, it's very useful. Next, we also can go ahead, select depth. 
and in many cases um, you can pass all these channels for the animation or other things also you can preview and hear it and um, non photorealistic render currently we did not kind of work on this and it's require own section of tutorials on this new um, very interesting features inside the Vue 2015 we'll look a little bit later same as other one okay, let's go back to um, normal 3d view okay next same properties you can apply right here you can preview you'll notice we have a color view that you can toggle in and out okay or we can open a preview you have it alpha Z and if you render your G buffer or multi pass that will be available to render them you actually need to go inside the properties okay let me go ahead okay, click OK right here inside the properties and we need to enable them G buffer multi pass or a diagnostic buffer so if we can access all other currently because they disable they're not available for us after we render and going through multi-layer you have a count where you can go back and forth on this multi-layers to adjust so our next is property for the post render options it's this menu will pop up and the post render options will look closer when we start working with the main cameras with the camera adjustments Okay, let's go click OK and we have it save displayed picture the additional options can be displayed if we change our view so for example if we're going from here to perspective view you notice on perspective view now we have additional properties we have it between save or copy our position to the new camera the other options look very similar to what we have before but only this one so the copy current to active or store as a new camera so it's left or right click and we have it also toggle active camera view so we can kind of go back and forward between of this so let's look as example back to perspective view and right here you can notice I have a top and main camera so if I right click we just created a new camera so we can switch to this camera as well okay and also we can store as a main camera now assigned to our view and right here you can see this is our main camera so we can take it readjusting okay, let me unlock height and we can kind of reposition this camera okay you'll notice also I have some animation guidelines still and it's reason because even I closed my timeline timeline still be active so I can go just disable keyframe that way go return to frame one and positioning a couple other options you'll notice right here we have it kind of overblowing with lighting so I'm going to just select other properties but overall we'll check a little bit more on those um, settings on camera lightings overall right now I want you to kind of look on this menus play with them play with 3d view readjusting and positioning them as you like it remember if you don't remember what you did you can always go back to your display work and just reset to default settings so you always can revert to what you've done before so go ahead adjust and um, position in the way you like it